Earlier today, I had the good fortune to watch a video, actually a Facebook Live that my good buddy Felicia Slattery put together around speakers who complain because they're not making money. She said, if you're a speaker and you're not making money, are you doing money generating activities? And what that means is, are you actually picking this thing up? Are you calling potential meeting planners? Are you calling potential clients? What are you doing to generate revenue? Do you have a back end in place? Um, all of that plays into whether or not a speaker makes money. It's the same with people who get podcast interview opportunities. I've had some clients who are crushing it with their podcast interview opportunities. Not only are they getting on a lot of shows, they're making money on the back end. Hi, this is Kathleen Gage with Power Up For Profits and The 100 Club, where we teach experts how to find 100 podcast interviews in record time. It's through a very systemized approach. Not only do, do we teach our clients how to find those opportunities, but how to monetize those opportunities. And it's not by getting on a podcast show and saying, buy my thing. Let's say this is your thing, or this is your thing, a faith cup. Um, mine says faith, I have one believe, I have, you know, all joy, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to go on there and try to overtly sell. What I'm going to do is create lots of value. However, before I start looking for a lot of show opportunities, before I start getting a lot of visibility, I want to make sure that my back end is in place. And by back end, I'm not talking the one I'm sitting on. Well. I kind of do talk about that because I run and I eat healthy, so that back end is really important. However, it's the back end of your systems in place, your conversion funnels, your uh, website, is it visitor ready, your blog, is it visitor ready, are you putting uh, videos up on YouTube, are you making sure that when you're on a podcast show you create so much value that the host willingly lets you tell people where to go to find more information about you. If you have books on Amazon? Is your Amazon page set up in a way that it's compelling to people? So it's really about making sure that you do have your back end in place, your foundation in place, and that you have a strategy behind what you're doing. It's not just about getting on shows. It's truly about having a strategy of how will you drive traffic? What stories will you tell? Uh, what information have you provided to the host? All of that plays into whether or not you're successful in using podcast interview opportunities to grow your business. Because as an author myself, as a speaker myself, when I'm on a podcast show, when I'm being interviewed, I want to make sure that if I'm trying to promote, and not overtly again, but if I'm trying to promote the fact that I'm a keynote speaker, the fact that I'm an author and I have books on Amazon, I can share stories that tie in with a specific point that encourage people to go to my Amazon page. It encourages people to go to my website, my blog, my social media. All of that is very, very important. So if you're looking to make money with podcast interview opportunities, you can do it. I have one client that she can directly, directly link $8,000 worth of business to one podcast show that she was on. It was the first one she was on. And she said, how does that compare to other people? I said, that's phenomenal. Imagine if you get that kind of result every third show that you're on or every fourth show you're on. That's a pretty good return on investment, especially since in most cases, you shouldn't have to pay to be on a show. Another client has told me that every time she's on a show and it airs, see that's the thing, a lot of them are pre-recorded so it won't be that day that people are going to hear from you, but when it airs, she sees her book sales go up. Now the thing you want to do to really get a lot of value from your podcast uh, interviews is help the host promote the episode. When I get people that um, have me on their show, I actually will post the, the link um, on my media page and I'm going to show you my media page. So you go to my website and then under speaking and media, I've got media interviews on the drop down menu. You just click on there and it'll take you to a page that has information about my speaking, about my training, about being a media guest, 
and I've got uh, testimonials from hosts. So all of that minimizes the risk to a show host. And uh, then moving down, I have links to a lot of shows I've been on. Actually, in the last month and a half, I've really been focusing on getting interviews. And you'll notice uh, in May, I had a lot of episodes and not all of them have come through. But May, 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 May. Uh, then we've got June and June and July, and there's more coming through. Uh, Yvonne DeVita, Nurturing Big Ideas, fun interview, Influencer, Networking Secrets, Paul Edwards, fun interview, Damon Burton, Learning From Others, fun interview. All of it was very exciting and very fun. So my encouragement to you is to look for lots of opportunities. And once you're on a show, be sure to thank the host and be sure to help them promote the episode because the more you do that, the more inclined they are to have you back on the show. And the more inclined they'll be that if you have a colleague that you wanna recommend for that show, that they'll take your recommendation. But the bottom line is, is if you do this right, you can actually make great money by being a podcast guest. And it takes more than just being on a show once. It really takes a consistent, um, focused effort that every day you do something to get on these shows. And by doing something, you research shows or you have a virtual assistant who researches shows, you reach out to the host, uh, you listen to podcast shows and when you find one that's a really good fit, that's how I got on Paul Edwards' show. Love Paul, he's just the best host and just a great, great guy. And I heard him interview somebody who was talking about getting on podcast shows. And so I reached out to him. I said, love the episode. By the way, I also teach that. Would you like to have a conversation about me being on your show? And I sent him the link to my media page so he could see that I really knew what I was doing, that I had been on a lot of shows. And so you want to make sure that you're laying the foundation in a way that you set yourself up for success and there's opportunity on the back end. This is Kathleen Gage with Power Up for Profits and The 100 Club. First of all, encouraging you, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And down below, click, I'm going to be a podcast guest. I'm going to be a podcast guest. Go ahead and click the link or make a, a, a comment down below. Click the subscribe button and click the bell notification. Because when you do, you get notified when I put up other great content videos like this. And do me a favor like the video because when you like it it goes out there in youtube land and something magical happens and other people get to see the video it helps me out and it helps other people out this is kathleen gage wishing you a great day encouraging you go out and really make the magic happen have a great day